Okay, now that we've drawn some lines, I thought it might be fun to learn right away how to erase the lines. Okay, so what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to use grips to select our lines and then we're going to use the erase command to erase them. All right, so before we actually grip anything, we want to make sure that the command line is clear. So if you look down at the bottom here, my command line has no command on it. So it is clear, it's an open command line. Now, if you don't have an open command line, you just want to hit the escape key on your keyboard. And what that does is it cancels any command that you're in and allows you to start over. All right, so now that the command line is clear, I'm just going to bring my mouse up and just pick right on a line. And when there's no command and you just pick on a line, it will select it. And you'll know it's selected because you'll get these blue boxes, which are called grips. All right, now what I can do now is I can right click now that it's been selected and I can pick erase from this shortcut menu and the line is gone. All right, so let's do that again. I'm going to pick a line right click and pick erase. Okay, another way that you can select objects is you can actually put your cursor away from a line and pick in kind of outer space here. So I'm just going to pick and you'll notice what happens is the cursor, whether you move it to the right or to the left, it starts to make a window. And if you move your cursor to the left, this is called a crossing window. And what this means is that any entities that cross or are inside the window will select. So I'm going to pick with my mouse down here to complete the window. Okay. And you'll notice all the lines now are selected or also called gripped. Okay. So of course I could right click here and pick erase. All right. Now I'm going to come up and undo that. And I'm going to show you the other type of window. All right, so now if we start our cursor over here on the left, making sure that we're not in a command, and we just pick with the mouse, notice this time I have a blue window as compared to if I move my mouse this way, I have a green window. So I'm going to start on the left and come down to the right. Now, this type of window, the entire entities have to be inside the window for them to select. Okay, so notice I have one line hanging out. So watch what happens when I click. Now, when I complete that window, notice the line that was hanging out did not select. All right, so um, that blue window, which is just called a regular selection window, only selects if the entire entity is inside the window. So the entire line had to be inside the window. All right. And at this point, I could, of course, right click and pick erase. All right. So let's undo that. Okay. And for the last thing, I'm going to show you how to deselect previously selected items. Okay. So again, if I come over here and I grip all of these and I realize I didn't want to select all of the lines. I can hold the shift key down and then pick with the mouse and it will unselect previously selected items. And then at that point I can execute my command, which in this instance is erase. Okay. So I hope that helps clear up grips, selecting objects with grips and using the erase command.